All right, Jason Ryan, Space Vidcast, sleepy, roving KSC reporter. Uh, ben, you're gonna have to forgive me on this one. Uh, they wouldn't allow tripods in, so uh, it is what it is. I'll try to get you the best shot you can. Take a look at what I'm seeing. All right, space fans, listen up. I would love to put this over to the side to show you Atlantis hanging. However, that's a big no-no. I don't have any kind of straps or attachments, so I'm going to have to kind of just show you what we're seeing right now as Atlantis is being hoisted on this huge <laughs> crane to be mounted with that. What I've done is I've tried to go down to one side so I can give you a shot of Atlantis uh, being lifted up to be mated with the ET, but not violate the rule of leaning over so there's no risk of anything falling on the orbiter itself. I'm here with John McBride. John, you flew on... Challenger. Challenger. 13th flight in the shuttle series. That was when? What year? 1984. So you've been with the program, following the program along all this time. I came to NASA three years before we flew our first flight back in 1981, so I'm, I guess we can call me a dinosaur on the space shuttle program. Let me ask you a question. If you're watching the last orbiter get ready to leave the launch pad, I, I hate to push on the spot. What are you thinking? What are you feeling right now? It's kind of a uh, very mixed emotions day. You know, you're very excited to finally see her roll out there. We always like to see rollouts. We like to see launches. When, when you're here for the very last one, it's a little bit different. It's kind of nostalgic. Yes. Thinking that 30 years now of space shuttle flying is coming to an end, this is it. This will yes. be the last one no matter what. So it's kind of a mixed emotions day. Well, even though you're not going to get a chance to go behind the stick, are you like, you're, you're still planning to put her up and make sure she looks beautiful, right? You guys got big plans for Atlantis. Yeah, we have great display plans. We have to work through the engineering side of it, get all the sign-offs from uh, Boeing and all the different folks that support and know the shuttle better than we do. Right. But uh, assuming all that goes well, which I'm sure it will, we'll have a put her in flight and show her as the way that none of us have ever seen it. Last time I was here, I made sure to hit both the decks. This time I decided to stay on the lower level. Uh, it was well worth it. You get more of the total effect, as it were. Uh, an amazing experience. A lot of people coming out to see this. Buses are packed. It's an incredible experience. It's it's really awe-inspiring. It's really, as uh, Lloyd said, it's, it's history. All right, Space Vidcast fans, welcome to Launch Complex 39A. Down below you see Space Shuttle Atlantis being prepared for the final flight of the shuttle program. Also doing uh, high rest, so what they do is to, to take the of it's insane. I finally get the opportunity to come out here and uh, check this out. And, well, look, we got weather coming in and we're in a phase one weather warning, so I don't know, folks, how much I'm able to get for you, but I'm going to try to get as much as I can while I'm here so Ben can show you some of the goodness that is the final flight of Atlanta. There's the yellow brick road. Look, yeah. there it is. The yellow brick the road, road is it's been called where the astronauts go yep. on to... Yep. Only to the door line, right? Correct. Right. When you say door line, what do you mean? Right there where you're at. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, right here? Last time we went in, Last time we went in yeah. Okay, we're going to hold here just a second, but then we're going to try to take the camcorder up. And uh, this is basically where the astronauts go in. I'm going to go in with the camcorder. So if you look down that way, that is the white room leading to the orbiter. So we can't go there. We're, we're not qualified yet, so there's that. No space vidcast fans, that is not sound suppression, water suppression system. That is Mother Nature crying for the end of the shuttle program. It is coming down in buckets. Our tour is officially over.
we're back in the van. Uh, here's, here's Robert. He's had better days. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah. Chris is up front. We're all in the van. We're all drenched. Soaked. Soaked. Has it rained in six years, and the day we get to come out here is a hurricane. Yep. <laughs> Jeannie's, Jeannie's up there sporting it a is. wet look. We're all, we're all doused. It was, uh, oh wow, it was amazing. It was intense, and it was brief. And now we're gone. <laughs> you looked perfect. All the, all the, all the water droplets are beating up on top of your head. It's the baldness, brother. It's the baldness. <laughs> so when you, when you do the video, you're gonna have.